Um, all right, guys, so this is going to be the existing HVAC system that we're currently looking at. It's an old beast. We'll call her Bessie for today. Um, but this system is completely massive. It's 42 inches depth wise. We have 26 inches in width. And then from the bottom of the furnace all the way to the top, you have just about, about 50 inches top to bottom. You have an additional foot up here about to 62 where it does the first run for the supply side. So that's the amount of space that we have. What we want to do is we want to do a furnace and air conditioning coil up top and then we're going to need to run that coil and line set all the way out through here and we can either go out through the back which i'll show you guys a little bit later or we can go out through the front right up here it's fine either way uh, we haven't officially decided we'll take a look outside and kind of pick where they'd like to put the unit if they decide to go with air conditioning um, but that's kind of the setup for there we'll need a pump out drain from this side or a little bit behind this unit I'll kind of show you guys the spot that we have or behind here. You can run a, a, a drain line just up and over this wall right here, right? Kind of like you can see with the softener. And there's a floor drain. Watch your guys' head as you guys come in and out of this. It's, it's a little bit shorter ceiling, probably about seven feet, give or take. But we got a floor drain right here. You also have a drain line that's freely accessible right here that goes into the washer that's got its own T. You can go into that or that and you'll be coming just right through there. Either way is completely fine. So that's gonna be that for the air conditioning side. Coming back into the furnace area. This is a six inch round. We'll need to reduce down to about four inches and get a six by four inch reducer for this guy. Um, this was a topic of concern if they need to actually redo the exhaust for this um, water heater. Based on what I'm seeing in the angle, I don't see a reason why we would need to. you got a good upwards angle all the way through and then up, so I don't see a necessary, or necessarily a reason. We also have B-vent, or double wall um, venting, going all the way up through this house, and it looks like it's completely sealed up, so we shouldn't need a chimney line or anything for this guy. Um, that's going to be everything for this exhaust side, so four inch to six inch. Um, this guy is huge. I'll kind of walk you guys through the path of how we're going to get it out because we came up with that plan already. Um, but if you need to, and if it'll be easier, it might not be bad to try and cut it down. So you guys can see the inside, half of it has a blower motor and then the filter access, but this is all empty space. The other portion has all of the actual guts, the heat exchanger, the other uh, burner assembly, the igniter, all that stuff, or I'm sorry, the pilot light, not the igniter on this old beast. But that's kind of everything that we got in this guy. So, and the cold air return drop, is going to be a 15 by 21. What we'd like to do is we we're going to go ahead and engineer. I'll probably get, get you guys about a five, two five foot runs of 10 by 20 duct work, and we can go ahead and reduce that down. There's no reason we'll need this big of a, of a system. And if we can put in a filter rack access right over here, this would be the easiest. That way it's just coming straight in and then straight out. Um, that way it's a lot easier for them. We're looking to do a 16 by 25 by one filter rack and access. Um, if we need to put it closer to this side, we can, but I honestly am looking for easy access. If you guys have any additional ideas, I'm kind of thinking right here would be the best, um, but just some thoughts I'm having for it. Um, that vent for the furnace also, since the furnace is actually over here, you're going to want to basically bring that venting, which will probably come right up here, right over and through. And then if we can reattach that to this section, or if we need to go ahead and build a a different transition from the water heater to that that'll work out just fine uh coming back though over here so you guys can kind of see it a little bit easier we have the old gas shut off for this guy right up top right up here um that's going to need to be get changed over with the new easier shut offs so i'd probably just go ahead and replace this section up here unless you have a really nice easy accessible one down there which i haven't seen you also got electrical with the disconnect for the system right over here and i believe this is the fan switch for it or something additional but that's kind of the overall project that we're looking at guys so furnace coil up top um you can possibly run the line set over and through or kind of over and around um, everything's open we can also bring it out this way which we've talked about right um, we've got a bunch of different options but that's kind of everything that we're looking at here um, the existing thermostat is only a two-wire thermostat it's one of those older school styles but bringing the system out is what we're going to go over next. So bringing the system, we're going to need to go ahead and bring it out through here, which this is about 28, 29 inches wide, this opening between this door. So that will fit. 
this wall will go ahead and be moved. This is about 30 inches, so you got a little bit more room, but it kind of condenses down to, I believe, about 29 or about 29 and a half. Coming up here, we're, we're gonna have them move all of this stuff out of the way. And the idea is, so if we can bring it up to here, which we'll need easily two to four guys for this job, I'm assuming it's gonna be quite heavy, um, is to lift it up and then turn it and phase it forward this way instead of trying to turn it through this. So I don't think that's gonna happen. You can probably flip it off and flip it over. That's another idea, kind of like you do with couches. But that's kind of the thought process for this. This will all be moved. We got 30 inches between this door on both ends. Minus about an inch or half an inch for the door stopper. For the storm door, this will have to be taken off. But should be able to get it out there, no problem. Oh, so that's kind of everything there. And yeah, that's what we're looking at. The thermostat, I'm just going to come briefly in here so you guys can see it. It's going to be right in the main room. Right there. And that's it.